forget crude oil. Forget LNG. Saudi Aramco is going after the hydrogen market, and they are going for broke. The market shot from the pandemic sank Aramco's net profits last year, along with its plan to boost its oil production from the neutral zone that it shares with Kuwait. What started out last year as Aramco's plans to add a million barrels of oil capacity per day to its 12 million barrel per day abilities ended up with Aramco's chief executive, Amin Nasser, saying that this capacity increase will come gradually. Judging by OPEC's production cuts and Saudi Arabia volunteering to cut an extra million barrels per day from its oil production, the gradual nature of any capacity increases may extend beyond 2021. Aramco also seems to be moving on from its shocking announcement last year that it planned to spend $110 billion over the next couple of years to develop the Jafura gas field's hundreds of trillions of cubic feet of gas to convert it to LNG. Instead, Saudi Arabia will use just enough of this gas to replace the crude oil that it burns in its power plants. The rest will be converted into blue hydrogen, a form of hydrogen that is produced from fossil fuels. But the Saudis are planning to corner the market on the clean energy holy grail of green hydrogen as well. Saudi Arabia is already building a $5 billion green hydrogen plant known as Helios Green Fuels that will power NEOM, Saudi Arabia's planned megacity that advertises sustainability. The plan is for Helios to tap solar and wind power to generate 4 gigawatts of clean energy that will produce hydrogen. The kingdom is a natural fit for green hydrogen, which needs space, sunshine, and wind to create the clean energy. Some even say Helios could eventually produce hydrogen that's cheaper than oil, at $1.50 per kilogram by 2030. The average cost of green hydrogen is $5 per kilogram. Saudi Arabia's ACWA Power is part of the Green Hydrogen Catapult Initiative a group of companies that have plans for 25 gigawatts of green hydrogen production by 2026. If successful, this could drive down the price of green hydrogen to the point where it is competitive with fossil fuels.